I've lived in Otsego County for 35 years, and I'm also the moderator of Sustainable Otsego. Um, this issue, we've been going over this issue now for three or four years. I think the evidence is really in, it's conclusive, and it's overwhelming. Fracking is bad on almost every level. It's bad economically, it's bad for public health, it's bad for the environment, you name it, it's a bad, it's just a bad investment all the way around. It's not what we should be doing. Not only should the moratorium be passed, but also uh, uh, the, the <coughs> outright ban fracking the way other towns have done in this area. Uh, the, this, the gas industry has clearly lost uh, public support and no longer has public sentiment behind it if it ever did. Uh, and this is not just a local issue, this is a global issue. I was fortunate enough a few days ago to um, attend a lecture given by Professor Robert Howarth at Cornell University who's done the only peer-reviewed research on methane emissions. And what he has found is devastating to the argument that this is a clean industry. The industry likes to say that because it, 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 you know, it, it met, that the natural gas burns more cleanly because it, it emits fewer, uh, car, uh, fewer C, less CO2 than oil or, or coal, which is true. But what they don't tell you is that the methane emissions that come out of the whole system, the whole production system, the wellhead, the valve, the pipelines, and so forth, uh, it's a much worse greenhouse gas than CO2. It's over, it'll, over, it, it'll overwhelm the, the sort of climate change issue if it's allowed to proceed on a large scale. It's absolutely devastating. This thing should be shut down completely now. 